what up guys, Sean here, and today you join me on a brand new video. Today's video is going to be my story of uh, me on WoW. Um, so I hope you guys are going to enjoy this little thing. Um, I just wanted to try this because I just got requested to do this. Um, we're just going to be having some um, BG footage over the top of this uh, while I play here live. And can I not just randomly run, please? Hello? There we go. There we go, and now I get emails every time. And we're gonna mind play this guy. So basically, um, I started at the very start of Wrath of the Lich King. Uh, that was when I started. Um, I heard about DKs and such. Um, you know, I wanted to play one and uh, I thought they would be pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna give this Warrior Feathers from behind us as well. Special guys, I'll get rid of anything here. I'm gonna push up to this EFC. Um, but yeah, I made a Hunter very first. I uh, made a Night Off Hunter. Um, whose name I can't remember, unfortunately, but this flag carrier is so toast. Um, and then I, you know, started really getting into PvE on my DK, because I eventually leveled up a DK to a max level, and, um, things of that nature. Can this guy get out of the bomb? Like, for real. There we go. Silence him, horrify him. He's dead. There we go. And, um, so yeah, I really got into PvE at that point, um, I pushed, I think, nearly all the way to Upper Lich King and stuff like that, um, if I remember correctly. Um, so that was that was good. Um, and then I kind of got bored of PvE after that, um, unfortunately. But um, then I started, you know, then I had a small jaw, you know, I had a small part of the game where I wasn't really playing that much. Um, and then I came back to the game uh, just before the end of Wrath, I started Cataclysm. Uh, because one of my our roommates was uh, into the game again and uh, you know we started playing arenas and stuff and I started making early montages this is about the same time as when I made uh, this channel here um, that you're watching on now um, so yeah I made that channel about then um, and if you go really far back in the ethers of my videos then you'll uh, see that I made a lot of uh, 2v2 kind of low rated but still cool montages in my opinion uh, they're more nostalgia than anything else, uh, really, for, um, you know, us here, but, uh, there's that. This paladin's gonna kill me, maybe? Please don't. Please don't kill me. I would love if you wouldn't kill me, bro. Am I slowed forever? Yep, okay, that's fine. Spell this guy, there we go. Doing more damage to him. Script this from Rogue away. Nope, Rogue on me, okay. Um, so yeah, after that, um, you know, I, I did try to push Arena for a bit. Um, I then eventually got to, like, 1750. Um, you know, started pursuing more and more into kind of Raid Arena. And then and then the game kind of got more and less, less and less balanced, should I say. Um, you know, it got less and less balanced. Therefore, I then started to push more towards, you know, the fun aspects of the game. Um, not that I didn't find uh, it necessarily... Um, that boring, but I didn't really do a lot of RPGs and stuff, so I wanted to kind of get into team fighting a little bit more. Um, and then from then on, I had the same IRL mate who uh, had joined a guild called Necronos, and um, basically they were doing RPGs, they needed a warrior, um, they got me in on battle tag, um, I then kind of got to know the guild a bit more, and this came, you know, I found out, I then found out what organized world PvP was, and that's kind of where my world PvP theoretical story came from. Um, you know, uh, that's kind of how that happened and where um, that kind of came from. I joined Varen's guild, um, and then we, for was this, at this point, this was in uh, MOP, and we were, you know, um, training and trying to gain players and stuff, and that's where I got a lot of my experience is from World PvP now um, and how to lead and such. Uh, it was also the first time where I actually pushed, uh, took RPGs a tad seriously. And uh, then managed to push uh, to 2k with the guild team, um, being target caller as a target caller on a warrior. Uh, some of the video you can see, I'll link it in the description below. It is uploaded to the channel. Um, so that was really cool. Um, and then from there, that was for most of, um, you know, that was for most of MOP. Um, and towards the end of MOP, start of Warlords, we, uh, you know, decided that I think it was um, mainly due to the fact that Varen wasn't that interested in the game anymore. So he wanted to really kind of get back into the game and uh, be able to do, uh, you know, have the fun in the game and stuff like that again. 
Um, so he really wanted to move to Sturm. Well, we wanted to move the guild. We didn't necessarily at that point know it was going to be to Stormscale, which is where it ended up being. Um, um, and then I became eventually uh, after Varen kind of, you know, didn't didn't necessarily just quit the game, but kind of became less active on the game. Um, then I became GM of Necronos, and then I made the decision to, um, you know, take the world PVPers from the Necronos uh, Stormscale, which wasn't, you know, there wasn't that many here, but there were still people um, that were there and stuff. So, um, you know, that was, you know, it was it was okay. It happened. Um, can these guys get off me, please? Like, just go away. I'm trying to carry the flag across the field. Please, no, no. Uh, uh, I might be dead. Can I switch guys with the flag? Let's just uh, this version here. Run through. Rogue, rogue, hello, rogue. Hello, guys. Hi. I'm just the flag carrier, you know. Nope. Uh, and I can switch you guys with the flag. That's OP. I'm just running now. Run away, run away, run away. Shield myself. But, um, yeah. Oh, wow. Rogue, you stole my feather. Ass. Anyway, uh, yeah, moving on. So, uh, we eventually, uh, during the uh, phase of us being on uh, Defy's Brotherhood, uh, we did end up, you know, fighting um, multiple guilds. Uh, one of those being uh, Ventral Midnight. Um, and we did end up. Uh, I, I believe wiping them theoretically, um, but that was kind of the highlight point there with that. Um, pew pew, Paladin, pew pew. Silence you, sir. I'm gonna just heal myself up here. Um, and then after Necronos' theoretical death, um, I started to, you know, become more of a GM, kind of, you know, really work towards building Mortal as a guild, a well, PvP guild, and. Uh, you know, the PvP guild as whole, and um, you know that's where I'm at now. Uh, we have, and then we then we made the decision because of hard recruit um, from you know from the uh, Stormscale's uh, lack of alliance. We tried to recruit um, from, uh, and then we actually eventually decided to move to Outland, um, and that's where we are at the moment. We're still trying to build a core and things like that. So that's my wild well story. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I hope it wasn't too long. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the, the, the gameplay and apologies if I was a bit off on the commentary, but I was trying to concentrate on being able to win that game as well um, because I am still trying to gear up my uh, Shadow Priest. As you can see here, um, I have, I'm currently I level uh, 724. Um, I need one ring, uh, one wrist, one cape, one neck, and one belt uh, until I'm full gear on this. And I'm actually more geared than my warrior now. Uh, which is an odd, th an odd feeling to hear, but um, I've nearly got all my cap on this as well. I need about uh, 400 or 500 more points, so I'll do some twos later on today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again, and maybe to visit the like at the moment, it helps out a lot. And um, I'm actually going to nominate anyone, because um, everyone who I would nominate has already been nominated to do this. Um, so thanks Census and Sila for the nomination, um, and I'll see you guys next time. Farewell. If you guys missed episode 3 of the Road to 2K series of series 2, make sure to hit the left link if you would like to see where videos have been and what's been going on with me IRL, then make sure to hit the right link. And I'll see you guys next time. Farewell.